What up, everybody? It's Nick from Main and Custom Prints back with another video. And today I'm going to show you how to sublimate a phone case. And as you can see, I have my little helper with me here today. He won't leave me alone. It is what it is. He's a daddy's boy. This is what happens when you try to run a business from home and you have kids. You guys have no idea how hard it is to shoot content when he won't leave me alone. And there goes the camera. Careful, okay? Okay. But anyways, like I was saying, two types of phone cases, one with the metal sublimation plate. This one, it has a tempered glass sublimation thing. So you're sublimating on tempered glass, desublimate differently, and we're gonna go over that right now. So what you will need, a sublimation phone case, your sublimation print. This is a sub 125 paper, um, eight and a half by 14. I print on the Epson 2720 and I use Cosmos ink. And I just started using the Cosmos ink color profile. I suggest you guys look into that. Another thing you will need is parchment paper and heat tape. Just like everything sublimation, heat tape, parchment paper. All right. So let's get to it. I'm gonna bring you guys closer so you guys can see what I'm doing and then we go from there. All right, so now we're at the press. What you wanna do is lay down your parchment paper, get your sublimation print and get your phone case. First thing you wanna do is peel off the film that it has on the phone case, the protective film. Make sure you peel this off. If you don't, you're gonna mess everything up. Trust me. Um, and also make sure you Try not to get fingerprints where you're sublimating at because um, leaving your fingerprints and the oil from your skin could mess up your print. So just try not to touch it. If you can use gloves, use gloves. Now, with this particular phone case, the tempered glass, you do not need to mirror your image. With the metal ones, you do, but this is tempered glass, so you do not need to mirror your image. You print it regular. So you lay it down. Where, where you took off the film, that's what you're, that's where you're sublimating. Lay it down and just line it up wherever, wherever your design needs to go, wherever it's centered or whatever it may be. Okay, so now once it's centered, you wanna grab your heat tape and put little strips on each side of the, um, of the case it does you don't have to super tape it down or nothing just one on top one on the side the bottom and the other side that's it nothing crazy and what's cool about the tempered glass one with the tempered glass you can see through it and see your print through so you know where to center it. With the metal ones, you can't. So right here, you can see and see where your design needs to go. All right, so now that you have that, you lay it down. Um, we're gonna put the case face down. So with the paper on top, put it like that. And then fold your parchment paper over the case to cover it. Make sure it's covering the case because you don't want that ink to get on top of the platen. It doesn't always happen, but it could, and I'm not gonna mess up my plaid in. And you don't wanna mess up the bottom. That's why you put it on the bottom too. So make sure your sheet of parchment paper is big enough to cover your whole print. Cool, so once you do that, I actually forgot to check my pressure, so let me check my pressure. Okay, so these, uh, this phone case presses at 400 for 120 seconds. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and press it. Medium pressure, medium pressure, 120 seconds, and we'll be back after it's done. All right, so once it's done, your press comes up. Woo, that's hot, can you guys see that smoke? So remove your parchment paper. As you can see, the ink bled through, so that would have gone to the top of your platen, so that's why you cover this. And can you guys see that already? This shit is hot, so let this cool down and then we'll be back all right so it cooled down a little bit so now let's go ahead and take it off 
But when you guys are doing this, be very careful because it is, it is hot. 400 degrees is hot as fuck. So just be careful when y'all doing this. Let it cool down, set it aside, put it somewhere where no one's gonna get burnt. That shit is hot. And obviously working under the press is not a good idea either. But here we are. Ooh, that's hot. That looks horrible. But that's not what you're gonna see. Bang, look at that. Damn, can y'all see that? Look at those colors. Let me turn off the lights so you don't get the glare. Can y'all see that? Look at the colors on that. That looks amazing. All right, and we're back. So yeah, that's how you sublimate the phone case. As you can see, the reason you don't mirror the image because you're putting the back part of the case onto the image, so it's gonna look straight, if that makes sense. I hope I explained that. The point is you don't mirror your image because you sublimate on the back. <clears throat> now, once you've sublimated your case, you grab the actual phone case, and this one has this yellow protective thing over it. You peel that off. And then you're gonna get a sticky pad right there. And all you're gonna do is get your, uh, the piece of glass that you sublimated on, just line it up. Line it up and set it down. And there it is. There is the phone case. Just make sure it sticks down. It's literally just being held down by a little sticky pad. Make sure it's all stuck down. And that's it. I wish I could show you the phone in the case, but I'm obviously recording with my phone, so I can't. But that is how you sublimate a phone case. Sublimation paper, um, heat tape, parchment paper, sublimation phone case. By the way, this sublimation phone case, phone case the tempered glass, I got them off of Amazon. It's the company Just Try, J-U-S-T-R-Y. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them or anything, but I am affiliated with Innosub.com, which they do have phone cases also. I will leave the link in the description. Um, they don't have tempered glass. The ones from Innosub is just the metal plates, but um, those are really good too. I use those for like other phones, um, iPhone 12 and stuff like that. But for my phone, I tried out the tempered glass and I like these. So Amazon, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down, let me know in the comments why or why you don't like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell and follow us on Instagram. Peace. I'm out. Damien say peace. I'm out. Peace. Say peace. I'm out. What up, everybody? It's Nick from Main and Custom Prince, back with another video. And today, we're, I'm gonna show you how to sublimate a phone case. Sublimation plate. This one is tempered glass. 